Zero to Hero, a series of videos showcasing Cisco's ability to deliver zero trust without complexity. This is the second video focusing on securing the remote worker. Integrate the dual network gateway with dual access gateway. So dual network gateway allows your users to access your on-premise websites, web applications, and SSH servers without having to worry about managing VPN credentials, while also adding login security with the dual prompt. With dual network gateway, your users can securely access your internal web applications from any device, using any browser, from anywhere in the world without having to install or configure remote access software on their device. Users can also remotely SSH to configured hosts through Duo Network Gateway after installing Duo's connectivity tool, providing server access without a VPN. Users first authenticate to Duo Network Gateway and approve a two-factor authentication request before they may access your different protected services. Session awareness minimizes repeated multi-factor authentication prompts as users access additional services and hosts via your gateway. Dual Network Gateway gives you granular access control per web application, set of SSH servers, and user groups. You can specify different policies to make sure only trusted users and endpoints are able to access your internal services. For example, you can require the SharePoint user complete two-factor authentication at every login, but only once every seven days when accessing Confluence. Duo checks the user, device, and network against an application's policy before allowing access to the application. And here we have an example we, of the architecture. And we have the external users, they go through a perimeter firewall using 443, using native TLS, there's a dual network gateway in your DMZ, some SAML in your applications. But let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and protect an application and we're gonna actually use the dual network gateway application. And we're gonna use the, you can see we've got a couple op uh, options here, but we're gonna focus on the self-hosted dual network gateway. Here we're gonna give the domain name We'll save the configuration and we'll download the configuration file. Now we'll get a JSON file that we're gonna use with our dual access gateway. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and access applications. And from here, we're gonna choose file. We're gonna grab that JSON file for the dual network gateway that we just created and we're gonna go ahead and upload. And you can see it listed here. And we're ready for next steps.